Hey guys, this is Push, and today I'm going to help you guys set up your Elgato HD60S Plus with OBS. So, let's just get right into it, guys, alright? I just got this uh, a month or two back, and I was uh, kind of uh, a little slow to get it open and get it set up, and when I finally did set it up, I realized that um, getting the audio to come out so that your stream is hearing it correctly isn't as you know easy as, as I thought but I think I found the solution for you guys if you've been having trouble so let's just uh, let's just do it from scratch as if uh, you're setting it up and you just plugged it in guys so what you're gonna want to do is I'm gonna um, first and foremost I'm gonna remove this okay all right we're gonna go add all right and for the Elgato you want to do video capture device and we'll do Elgato HD 60 S plus that's the name of it makes it easy and the first thing we're going to do is leave everything default minus the buffering. We want to disable the buffering because from what I've heard, the buffering makes it um, have like a, a little bit of delay or it, it makes it so that it tries its best to uh, make the audio good. If it messes it up, it messes it up. Don't use it. And then a lot of tutorials you've probably seen have said, have said either use desktop audio or wave out all right I'm gonna show you the problem with either of those okay um, we can actually use these methods to make sure to kind of troubleshoot that we're in the correct uh, USB port all right so let's do wave out I would say use this to, to troubleshoot because look we got audio and it doesn't sound like cracking or popping if at this point your audio sounds like it's cracking or popping whether you use direct out or wave out, um, that means that you're in the incorrect USB port. So don't be stubborn like me and spend a day searching the forums to realize you're just in the wrong USB port. Even if sometimes you think it's a better USB port than the other, just simply just kind of put it in until you hear clear audio like this. But this is the problem with this when we use the, uh, the, the, the wave out. All right, so it's delayed by like 200 milliseconds. Look, I'm gonna shoot. Whoops, I'm, uh, I'm gonna get in the right frame. You see how late the audio is coming out? Yeah, so this isn't gonna help you, especially if I'm playing the PS4 version of PUBG, right? And I can't use two headsets at once. I'm using the audio that's coming to OBS in order to, you know, play the game and make decisions based on correctly timed audio, okay? So we can't have that. We can't have that delay. It's bad. Look, let's see how bad it is. It's like... You can see the fire of the gun. You can see the flame of the gun before the bullets even come out. So use this to troubleshoot and make sure that it sounds like clear audio, but leave it at that all right so now we're going to go back here to advanced audio properties oh, i always get these two confused properties we're going to leave this to capture only okay and now you can see that the monitoring is picking up it, it's it's picking up audio now but it's not playing it out to the desktop so this is what you're going to want to this is what everything online tells you to do all right let's start with what you shouldn't do all right Let's go to advanced audio properties. Everybody's been telling you to do this. Monitor and output. Okay. It's going to even still sound fine to you guys, right? It will sound fine. But let me show you what it sounds like to your stream. All right? Because now we got audio, right? Now it, it's synced up. It's not delayed. Right? But the problem here isn't even in my... Uh, isn't in my capture card, uh, excuse me, my, my graphics card capture program or in the OBS. It's sort of like the way that it processes it to go out to the viewer. So if I hit right here, start recording, and I'm like, hey, dude, uh, yay, I'm playing PUBG. I figured out the audio. Woohoo, right? Everybody's watching your stream and they're all in chat, like, dude, it sounds like garbage. You're like, no, it sounds fine. It sounds fine to me. It sounds fine. All right, well, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you, I just recorded, right? As It's the same thing as if I would've clicked start stream, but let's mute this so I don't have interfering audio. 
Now let's go to show the recording, right? This is what the recording or the stream is going to output like. And I'm like, hey, dude, uh, yay, I'm playing PUBG. I figured out the audio. Woohoo, right? Everybody's watching your stream and they're all in chat like, dude, it sounds like garbage. You're like, no, it sounds fine. It sounds fine to me. It sounds fine. All right, well, this is what we're going to do. So it's kind of really hard to tell there, but if you were to watch your own stream, if you were to watch your own stream, you could hear the tr -tr 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 -tr. It's, la it's like two tracks are being layered on top of each other. So it's, it's not what you want. All right. So what you actually want to do is you want to go to advanced properties. And I don't know why this is the answer, but it just is. You just go to, I figured like if it sounds like it's outputting where it's like two tracks layered on top of each other, then maybe instead of it needing to monitor and output, maybe just monitor only. I don't know. It's worth a shot, right? So I did monitor only. All right. We'll unmute this. And they're synced up together. They're running like that, right? Now let's just make a little recording. Let's see if there's any difference. All right, let's see. So this is as if like how your stream would hear it or like how it would sound if you recorded a project. Start recording. Hey guys, woohoo, I'm playing PUBG, I'm so good. Okay, cool, so I'm gonna stop the recording. I'm going to shut the audio off for a second, so no interference. And we'll take a look at that new recording. That new recording sounds. Recording. Hey guys, woohoo, I'm playing PUBG, I'm so good. So you can, you can hear, you can hear the individual shots, right? Now let's go look at the other one. We'll just double test it. The last one I made. And I'm like, hey dude, uh everybody's watching your stream and they're all in chat like dude it sounds like garbage you're like no it sounds fine it sounds fine to me it sounds fine you, you hear that echo right at the end after the shots it's like Drrr. so yes guys that is the fix i'll take it all from the top one more time to just get rid of any confusion all right you're gonna want to set New video capture device. HD 60 S plus. Okay, you're gonna go okay. First thing we're gonna do is leave everything the same other than buffering. We're gonna disable. You can use this to see if it's at least putting out the correct kind of audio. Alright, if it's all jarbled and sounding like little pops, then you're not even the right USB for it. But this stays off, okay? You hit OK, and then what you want to do is come down to the cog tech for the Elgato card, because, right, we still don't got any audio. We have monitoring, but no audio. We're just going to go simply go to here. We're going to go advanced audio properties. We're going to find the card, and we're going to just do monitor only mute output. Now, as you can see, you might want to drag this down too. So there. Now you can see we got audio coming to OBS. I got audio coming to my headphones that's synced properly. So if I'm playing the game, it's, it's synced up. I'm watching my TV right now. I got the audio. If I decide to play some music on YouTube, you know, the YouTube music comes out. If I were in Discord and my friends were like, yo, take cover. I'm on the ground, right? Because I can hear them, and then my stream can hear them. If alerts come through and somebody just followed, you know, it's like your regular stream. The only thing is, like, setting up the setting up the capture card audio is kind of a pain in the ass. So hopefully that helped you guys out. Um, you know, I know that there's, like, thousands of other tutorials out there, and I know this one you kind of got to watch it all the way through, and it's a little long, but at least... It's, as you can see, you know, like it, it, it works, it works. You just gotta, number one, add it as a video capture device. Number two, turn off the buffering. Number three, go to the uh, Elgato uh, cog tag. Number four, advanced audio properties. Number five, turn the monitoring to monitor only. 
and then you can test it for yourself with recordings before you go live kind of like i did um and then you should be good if you guys have any comments questions concerns feel free to leave them in the in the, you know the comment area and if you guys have any you know suggestions maybe i'm doing something different maybe there's an easier way i couldn't quite find it but anyways that's all i have for you guys today so hopefully that helps you guys out happy gaming and happy streaming cheers